So wherever we are getting the sources, we call it as sources. So these sources data, it is stored into the transactional data. Okay, these sources are stored into the untransactional data. So in the data where so what are the data we are pulling, and then loading into the extracting and then loading into the data we are using, right? This data we call as analytical data. Okay. This data we call as a analytical data. This data we call as a transactional data or operational data. Clear, guys? So whatever the data they are going to store directly in the applications or tables or somewhere. So this data we call as a transactional data. And once the transactional data they are going to load, extract, and then load into the data warehousing, that data we call as a analytical data. Okay? How they are going to extract here, guys? How they are going to extract means? So they are going to extract the data by using the any ETL tool, any any ETL tool, irrespective of any ETL tool. They are going to connect the each source system from where we are getting the data, from where we are getting the data for that business. So they are going to connect each source system, okay, and then then loading into the data warehousing, okay. So this is a transactional data. This is the analytical data. So analytical data we call as a data warehousing data. So transactional data we call as a sources data. Source data we call as a transactional data. Clear, guys? Any doubts here up to now? So transactional data and analytical data. So this transactional data, it's a minute to minute is going to change and and also it's going to update. So here we are going to update the data, but here we are we are just read only whatever the data is there here. That data we are going to reading, and then placing into the data warehousing. Okay, okay. So come to data warehousing. What is data warehousing means? So data warehousing is a relational database. Okay, relational database. That is designed for query and analysis, rather than for the transactional processing. Okay, rather than the transactional data, they are going to design for this data warehousing is a analysis purpose. Okay, it is usually contains the historical data. So in the <coughs> data warehousing, so we are going to maintain the historical. We are going here. We are going to maintain the historical data. Means one year data, two year data, maybe ten years data also. We are going to maintain here. The data we are using. If one last ten years data, we can <coughs> we can able to get the data. We can able to analyze the data here. In the data we are using. Okay. So it contains the historical data and derived from the transactional data. So we are deriving this data we are using data from where we are going to deriving is a transactional data. What are the transactions happened in the your source system, your business? That data we are deriving and then loading into the data warehousing for analysis purpose. Okay, guys. Before we are going to the characteristics, so where we are going to store the data? This one. Okay. Here maybe for example, it's going to store into the database, any DBMS, any database. So databases, you know, right? What are the databases are there, guys, in the market? Can you tell me anyone what are the databases are there in the market? Anyone any idea databases? Okay. So Oracle is the one of the database guys. Oracle is the one of the database, and SQL Server. Okay, and then DB two. Point clear. Sorry, sorry. MySQL. Yeah, MySQL, Teradata, MySQL. Okay. So, like, there's so many data with NetEja. Okay. So many data with Sybase IQ, Sybase IQ. Like that. 
so many databases are there in the market okay so so here in the the your source system could be any any database or flat file okay i am going to give the example here oracle one of the tool just i am giving the one of the example oracle or flat file flat file is nothing but the either notepad excel csv format json format xml okay that we called as a flat files okay we call as a flat files maybe it, it can able to store the data into flat files also so notepad c csv excel or word or xml or json so these all are been called treated as a flat files okay or web application web directly they are going to store into the web website itself directly they are going to store into the website they are going to use some backend java dot net something the frameworks they are going to use and they are storing the some data in the web applications so these all whatever the data they are going to store irrespective of all the source system they are going to extract and then loading into the warehouse here so if here the your source will be in the same kind of data means you are getting the data in your project you are getting the data only for dbms means either it could be oracle or sql server or both combination of the both databases okay only you are getting the data from the databases only then we call as a homogeneous we, that kind of sources we call as a homogeneous sources okay homogeneous sources but you are getting the data in different formats like database flat file or something different different formats you are getting the data then that kind of sources we call as a heterogeneous sources okay homogeneous source means nothing but whatever the data you are getting from the source it could be same format either all the data it could become the flat file or all the data you are getting from the databases or all the data they are getting from the web application but any one of the source system any one of the format then we called as a that kind of sources we called as a homogeneous sources clear guys what is mean by heterogeneous sources what are the data you are getting that will be multiple formats the combination of the database flat file or database web application or flat file web application are like that different different format you are getting the data that kind of sources we called as a heterogeneous sources okay homogeneous and heterogeneous sources we called as a while loading the data into data warehousing the data it, it could be homogeneous and heterogeneous source system what is mean by homogeneous what is mean by heterogeneous you already know just now i explained homogeneous nothing but the same format same format data for example example i am going to give your your data getting from the oracle or sql server okay and the heterogeneous is nothing but the multiple formats okay guys go on meet fee someone either combination of the oracle or csv file so like that okay the combination of the combination of the multiple formats so here you are getting the data heterogeneous source system is nothing but the you are getting the data from one some data you are getting from the database some data you are getting from the flat file but here you can see homogeneous you are getting the data oracle and sql server but both are the databases only both are the in the form of the tables only you are getting the data okay so or for example take only csv or xml or xls 
those all are the same flat file format so homogeneous is nothing but the same format of getting the data heterogeneous is nothing but the multiple formats how you are extracting the data here that we call as a source systems homogeneous source or heterogeneous sources any doubts guys here any doubts clear sir no homogeneous doubt. and heterogeneous okay yeah so this data they are extracting right so it has to support whatever the etl tool we are going to use okay it has to support the each and every source system for example i am using one of the source system informatica i am using the one of the etl tool informatica i can able to connect the database but i am not able to connecting the flat file but it's not the correct right then we are going to miss some data in our organization so that is the reason the etl tools it has to support each and every source system it has to connect and then extract the data okay okay we'll go for that we'll go for the characteristics or properties of the data warehousing so when we called as a this is the data warehousing project for example take in a house can house okay so when you call as a house this one when you say this is a residential house 